Hello everyone, as promised, this is my sketchbox grab bag challenge. And before I started drawing anything, I decided to test the products and see how I like them and how to use them. The Bimoji brush pen is a large one and it has a felt brush and it's pretty firm so it makes it easier for beginners like me uh, for lettering and using it in general. Now in a previous grab bag, I had received another Bimoji brush pen and this one was a small one and in an art snacks box i got another bimoji one which is also a small one but it was a limited edition and you can see that it's decorated and the small bimoji brush pen does not have a felt tip it has a plastic tip and it's more like a food aid brush then i tried with water and i noticed that it's not entirely waterproof it's water resistant now I'm guessing, and it's just a guess, that with the right kind of paper and if you let the ink dry enough, it might end up being waterproof. I'm not 100% sure. I was happily surprised by the Faber-Castell Art Grip Aquarelle Pencil. It lays down very smoothly and it's very, very easy to dissolve with water. Even when dry, I was able to reactivate it again. So it's a very nice pencil. I really like it. The Marvie Le Plume alcohol-based marker is a pink one and it works just like any other alcohol-based markers. And now onto the supplies that gave me the hardest time. The Tombow Dual Brush Pens. They're great pens, they're double-ended, they have a very fine tip as well as a nice flexible brush. But I noticed that one of the markers was dry. So I decided to try my other set and a couple of those were dry as well so i guess you gotta be very careful with those and finally for the liquid metals watercolor it's a pearl a white pearl and it's very pretty it's not opaque and it works best on darker colors like a black paper or darker markers for instance i tested the water solubility of the Tombow markers and that works very well. And again, the Faber-Castell watercolor pencil was rewettable after being dry, so that was really cool. Now, because I was really bummed that I had some dried markers, I went online and I tried to figure out how to revive them. One tip said to just put the uh, marker tip in the water for about five minutes and uh, it would work again. And that was a bad mistake. I don't think I should have done that because it actually absorbed the water into the ink of the pen and that pen was useless after that. So I took my other set of markers, the one that I already had, that had 10 colors instead of six. And for those markers who were dry, I barely touched the water with the tip and it helped them get a new life again. So that's the best way of doing it. Another thing that I did was to try to open the marker that was dead and I was able to detach the, the small tip end but I tried to detach the uh, brush tip end and I broke it because there's no way to detach it. So don't do it. Only the small tip end. Now something that I noticed is that the caps on the brush side doesn't close very well. Or it does but you have to push really hard. So you tend to think that it's closed, that it's locked in, but it's not. And that's what happened with my older set. Um, when I opened it, a lot of the caps just came off and that's probably why those markers dried out um i don't know I, and plus i've had it for um maybe a year and a half or so so maybe they're just getting old and i'm guessing that the the set that i got from sketchbox is also pretty old 
Regardless, between the two sets, I was able to have a full set and I wanted to try the colorless blender that came in the bigger set, but unfortunately it was dry also and just dead. I couldn't revive that one. So I tried with a water brush and I blended the colors really well with that. Because I know that water-based markers tend to make papers peel, I wanted to make sure that it wouldn't happen and I wanted to use a watercolor paper to do my challenge. So I used Arsh 140 pound cold press paper and that might have been a mistake because it didn't work with all the supplies. Well it did work with everything but I had to struggle with some supplies like the Marvi alcohol based marker. The watercolor paper absorbs the ink really fast and, and it dried really fast. It seems like I was not able to blend it very well. However, my watercolor pencil worked beautifully with it. The brush pen worked well because the cold pressed paper is a little bumpy. The lines were not very even, but it's very juicy. So it worked pretty well, but it was really tough to use the Tombow markers on the paper. They blended well, but because again, the paper absorbed the ink really fast, I had to be very quick, apply the ink on the small part and the water right after. I couldn't let it dry because then it wouldn't really re-wet very well. And also it felt really dry to, to put the tip on the paper and, and scratchy. So what I ended up doing was to just put the ink on a ceramic tile and use that as a palette. And then it was much easier to apply on that watercolor paper. I had originally wanted to use a Bristol paper because it's usually pretty thick and it's nice and smooth. And I figured it would work very well uh, with the Tombow markers. But when I did my little test sample, I didn't like what they look like, what the ink looked like on that paper. And that's why I decided to go for the watercolor paper. What I liked about the watercolor paper is that it took layers upon layers upon layers without budging. Again, the Arsh paper is so resilient. So even though I struggled with the markers, I was able to fix some problems and add more layers. I wanted the face of the girl to be nice and soft, but in the end, it's very saturated because I ended up bu building a lot of layers. And I'm not really sure I like the end result. And that's why when I was done, I did the exact same drawing with another paper, just to see if I could figure out which paper would work best with the Tombow markers. So if you stick around a little while longer, you'll see the footage of my second try. In the meantime, maybe you could share with me if you've ever used those Tombow dual markers and if you like them, if you have any tips, and what paper do you like to use them with? Have you ever noticed that they get dry? And if so, do you have a way to fix that problem? Just share your impressions with everybody in the comments if you like.
So this is my second try and I'm working on the Stillman and Burn Zeta sketchbook and it's a multimedia paper and it's very smooth and it's 180 pounds so it can take a lot. And right away I could tell the difference with the application of the Tombow marker because the ink stayed wet a lot longer and I was able to move it around the paper. It was nice and soft and it's really the effect that I wanted to have. I really liked the way the hair looks on the second try here. Uh, it's The colors I think are more vibrant just because I don't think they sink into the paper. And it was, of course, much easier to use the alcohol-based marker on that one. And even though it's a, a pretty heavy paper, it did bleed through the paper. But that's to be expected with alcohol-based markers. The only problem I had with this paper is because it's so smooth, the watercolor pencil didn't work very well. It just slipped onto the paper. There's absolutely no grain on that paper, and so there's no tooth to grab the pigment from the pencil. So I was not able to get a nice saturation, and the color ended up being very faint. But all the other supplies worked very well. However, I must say that even with this pretty strong paper, I had to be very, very careful because I just couldn't add too many layers of the Tombow markers. Because it's so wet, it ended up peeling the paper. And that's what I was afraid of with other types of paper. So you either have to wait for quite a while to make sure that the ink is nice and dry. Um, or, or uh, in this case, probably more like and not use too many layers. I made so many mistakes with this one and I struggled too for different reasons and still I don't really know if I like it very much but I had a lot of fun trying to figure out those markers. Thank you all very much for stopping by. I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.